This instruction is about tempo, pace, timing, and rhythm. We live on a planet where gravity is operative. Um, <clears throat> the physicists tell us that the rate or the force of gravity is such that a falling object will accelerate at the rate of 32 feet per second per second. Technically, that's not important. What is important is that in a golf swing, since we use our bodies and we exist and we play golf on this earth, it's imperative for us to cooperate with rather than to fight the force of gravity. It is like a basic. It's almost like the motherboard in a computer or the basic operating system of a computer or something that starts that has to be in place before anything else can be done. We also must deal with the fact that gravity is a force. The most common mistake made in golf is fighting gravity. People don't realize that when they make their swing and their tra transition especially, that gravity has a tremendous effect, not just on the club or the arms or the hands, but upon the entire body. Uh, when we teach weight shift in golf, you call it walking. Walking is simply moving weight from one foot over to the other foot in a natural way. I remark about how when a tree is cut and falls, as soon as the, uh, the break, the um, trunk has been broken, it doesn't go boom with an immediate smash to the ground. It picks up speed the closer it gets to the ground. That's the effect of gravity, a constant force. We're all familiar with the playground swing when it goes back and forth and mom is pushing her child back and forth. She doesn't need instruction. She already understands and knows how instinctively to uh, use the playground swing, to how to operate it so that she neither jolts the swing to knock her child off the seat or that she would fail to push it hard enough to create a pendulum motion for the rock for the swing back and forth for the enjoyment of the playground swing. Now here's the part that is critical for golf and that uh, people just don't realize. When a stroke is made with a playground swing or with a golf swing or uh, with a baseball swing or with a tennis racket, the body is moving from one foot to the other. And when it reaches the one foot and, and transitions back to the other foot, it moves in the same way that the playground swing moves when it goes away from mom, it, she pushes it, it goes to the other side. Here's the critical part. It hovers. It doesn't go up and down. It doesn't hurry down. It swings, it hovers, and it waits for gravity. It operates like this. The club, the, a club, your arms, your body, go, they hover, and they fall. You hover and fall. When somebody says to me, I swung too, fa uh, too fast, I say, no, John, you didn't swing too fast. You swung too early. What do you mean? I mean that the time it takes for this hovering to turn around simply by the force of gravity and then start its descent is a much longer time than you might very well be aware of. People are so impatient to get back to the golf ball that they ruin their swing during the transition. That's one element. So when you're making your swings, it's imperative that you wait for gravity to move your hands and the club down. And then once it starts down, you assist that, not with a jolt, but like mom does with a playground swing, with helping it as hard as she wants. She can push it all the way up so that the chains go as high as they can go. She can push it so it only goes back and forth a couple of feet. But she doesn't jolt it. She doesn't meet the swing coming back to her and then give it a smack. She lets it turn around. She receives it in her fingers. She lets it turn around. She helps it. When it hovers over here, nothing's touching it. Nothing operates to turn that swing to come back into her hands 
other than gravity. That's part of it. Another part, and the part that may be more subtle, is this. Your body shifts weight from one foot to the other foot, walks, it walks from one foot to the other. That's the weight shift. A golfer whose swing we admire would have a natural pace in the weight shift that goes from his right foot back to his left foot, or in the back swing from his left foot over to his right foot. The pace is the pace that your body moves just the same as if you were walking. If you wish to run, maybe you could do that, but it's not the same thing. It's not intuitively recognized as, effect, as effective as the pace we see in, for instance, Ernie Els or Freddie Couples. The pace of their, their swing is recognized intuitively by people who say, that's the best looking swing. There's something about that swing. Well, the, uh, on analysis, what you would find that makes their swing so special is the fact that they truly are cooperating with the speed with which gravity acts on their bodies and on their arms and on the club. They don't rush it. They don't rush their transition. They let the body fall to the left side on the way down. They let the body uh, from the takeaway, a forward press, lean on your left foot, fall back. The energy of the fallback creates the back swing. The energy of the fallback to the left foot starts the downswing. And then the arms and the hands can be assisted and helped to swing through the shot. The secret is finding your pace, not creating one arbitrarily uh, that is in conflict with what, how you walk and your temperament and how you move. The motherboard, the basic operating system of your approach to golf has to be that which is natural to your body's tempo. Tempo is the word that we use to describe the total amount of time it takes from when you initiate your forward press and finally end up with a follow through and you're resting on your left foot. That's tempo. Rhythm is the allocation of how much time for this and how much time for this and how much time for that so that the entire motion is a blended unity harmonious blended unity uh, where there are some parts that are slower and some parts that are faster but they blend into each other in a natural way most people's difficulty is not so much in the blending as it is in finding the tempo that's theirs and waiting long enough in the transitions for gravity to move in the opposite direction. For instance, here's what I mean. A swing is initiated with a forward press. The forward press is a very slight motion from one of where your body is balanced to the left. The motion is to the left from a point of balance. This leftward motion of my hip, not my head, just the hip and the hand in this manner, just a little bit of motion, puts me off balance. I have more weight on this foot now than on the right foot. That little bit of off balance creates a potential of energy to follow me back to my right foot. 